the light bulb, the telephone, the automobile, inventions that change the world and still touch our lives every day. Now, another tech revolution is underway, but it's one you might miss if you're not paying attention. Artificial intelligence, or AI, computer systems that are basically trained to process, learn, and even communicate like people. This award-winning artwork, created by AI. This children's story, written and illustrated by AI. This Apple audiobook narrator. I lay there listening to my own breathing and feeling my chest move up and down. Not the voice of a human, that's AI. Amazing, frightening, dangerous, depends on who you ask. It exists today in ways that you can't even comprehend. We're not at the uh, levels of Terminator 2 quite yet, right? But we're getting there. Peter Shankman is a so-called futurist in residence at Blue Shark Digital. Let's hope you're not a lawyer suing someone at Madison Square Garden. Because yeah. if you are, they're going to see your face and you're not getting it. Okay? If you are within 10 blocks of a crime being committed, they're going to scan every camera in the area with facial recognition software, see if they recognize you. There are some airports in Europe right now where you walk in, it grabs your facial recognition, and you look up at a board that might have hundreds of flights on it, all you see is yours. The implications of this technology are wide-ranging, as are the ethical concerns. Now the city of New York is trying to curb at least one form of AI abuse with a law that could impact your career. The desire of the city was to give employees notice. Evan Piercy is an attorney who focuses on employment issues, like the brand new Local Law 144. New York City's first-of-its-kind legislation requires city employers to be transparent about their use of AI in hiring and promotions, and audit their systems for bias. It presents employers with a set of affirmative requirements that they must do before implementing these tools and while they're implementing these tools. What people need to remember is the artificial part of artificial intelligence. It is all dependent on the instructions provided by humans, built by humans. In 2018, Amazon had to roll back a secret AI recruiting tool because it was found to show a bias against women. There have also been multiple documented examples of AI systems picking up racial prejudices as well. I do believe a lot of companies will try it and they will they will dive headfirst into it because they believe that, oh, well, we'll save money and, and we'll get people and, and, you know, computers are the future. And they're going to get bitten for it. Perhaps the biggest concern for workers is whether these new advanced systems will eliminate their jobs altogether, with some major corporations already using AI to generate content. So what's next? I decided to go straight to the source. Will you take away all of our jobs? I asked the increasingly popular chat GBT AI system. It is unlikely that AI will take away all jobs, but it may change the nature of work and potentially automate certain tasks. Some jobs may become obsolete, while new jobs may be created as a result of AI and automation. It's important for society to proactively plan and adapt to these changes in order to mitigate negative impacts and maximize benefits. How do you feel about that? We had the Industrial Revolution, which took some jobs and created new jobs. Cars took away horses and buggies. There's a whole uproar about that. AI is certainly going to automate certain white-collar tasks um, because it can simply synthesize information better. Now, it's a lot to take in, but as they say, knowledge is power. Uh, the city's new AI law went into effect at the start of the year, but the city's Department of Consumer and Worker Protection is actually finalizing the rules right now, so enforcement will begin in the coming months.